Hello everyone, my name is Srikant and today I am going to show you how to set up your Diabito hardware with the beta testing iOS application. For demonstration purposes, I am going to show two glucometers. One is Glucocard 01 by Acre and second is One Touch Ultra Easy and in some countries it's called One Touch Ultra Mini. Now when you have received the Diabito hardware, just open the beautiful box and you will see that there is a paper insert with this funny looking code. This is a very sim uh, simple as well as important paper. I just keep it aside and second is a quick reference guide. I'll keep the quick reference guide and there comes the amazing Diabito. Looks pretty, isn't it? When you actually open the entire casing, you would see that your Diabito packaging also comes with a USB cable for charging your Diabito. If you use your Diabito once um, about you know about four times a day then uh, your Diabito charge when it's uh, fully charged it should be it should be okay for about 22 25 days. And also this adapter. Now this adapter is for using your Diabito hardware with the glucometers such as One Touch Ultra Easy which have a 3.5 mm jack. Now without wasting much time, let's go and uh, start the iOS application. And if you are a beta tester, then you should be getting an invite from Hockey app. You can download the iOS application from the Hockey app. And once you have downloaded, you will see the pretty home screen. Now since I have to set up the application, I will go to the settings screen. Now in the settings screen, the first tab says that use only with Diabito hardware. Now this is where I have to click on it. Once I click on it, your camera will be initiated. Now I take this piece of paper and I scan this QR code. The QR code is scanned. So basically this is the UD ID. It is a unique ID for Diabito. And I've got my unique ID. The second screen says select glucometer. So I'll select, now I'm going to sync glucocard 01. So I go down, select glucocard, glucocard 01. Now since I'm in India, it's going to be MG per DL. And now straight away, I'll go to the home screen. And what I'll do is take the glucocard and the diabeto and I'll press the sync button and I'll switch on the Diabito hardware and plug it in into the glucometer. The first time it's, it gives me a Bluetooth pairing request, I pair it, this is just a one-time process and you don't have to do it every time when you sync it. And the reading has been transferred from the glucometer via the Diabito hardware into your mobile app. Now there are about 60 to 70 readings in this. My my last reading was, if I remember it correctly, it was the 70th reading. And yes, it was a 70th reading. I was going a bit hypo. So, you know, the reading, last reading is 73. And uh, I, can, I can select the other parameters such as mood. I can select whether it's pre-meal or post-meal, the carbs, the activity if I did, and if I any notes or something. I'm not going to save the reading right now because I want to sync the other glucometers only for the demonstration purpose. So I'll quickly not save the reading, remove the diabeto from the glucometer. Now this is the most important step is that as I said that you require the, the adapter. So what I'll do is that I'll plug the adapter into diabeto, go back to the setting screen Click on the Glucocard 01 which I had selected. Now I'll select One Touch, Ultra Easy or Mini. Once I've selected, I can even you know press the plus button from the setting screen. It's actually present on analysis screen, it's present on the logbook, it's present on the home screen as well. So I'm back on home screen, that's okay. What I'll do is that I'll press the sync button, switch on the diabeto, plug it in. That's it. 
I'll make sure that the reading uh, it's at all got. Oh wow, that was super fast. <laughs> the reading is already been come and my last reading was 132. And if you see that the reading it shows me the reading as well. Uh, the last reading on this glucometer was October 14th. Now there's one thing which I forgot to tell you guys is that you know uh, there's one important step when you actually select the glucometer is that some glucometers need to be switched on while you're uh, taking the reading like CareSense. If you see that you know it will say glucometer mode before use is on. So you need to switch on the glucometer while the today's glucometers it, they needed to be switched off. That's the only thing which you need to take care of and all these um, instructions are given in the quick reference guide as well everything is given in the quick reference guide at the same time you know if you want more details you can go online at diabe.to and basically in the download section there are um, manuals that is the quick reference guide and a detailed manual also given so you can just read the manual and get all the things set that's it about um, syncing the readings from the glucometers and all the best while if you have any questions you can get in touch with us at contact us at diabe.to thank you very much bye